This video is inspired by the YouTube channel CinemaWinds. If you don't know who that is, they basically give praise to movies that do a really good job, thus giving them wins throughout the video. It is a very optimistic look on life and movies, and I really want to explore the restoration of the priesthood in the same way. Let's get on to it. The restoration of the priesthood is a pivotal moment in the world's history. First off, the fullness of the gospel was on the earth with Jesus and the twelve apostles. Then, when all the apostles passed away, they did not pass on the keys and authority of the priesthood. The world then went, went without the fullness of the gospel for over a millennium. Then came Joseph with a question. I won't go too in depth with the first vision because that's a whole different story on itself, but basically he saw God and got the first steps into restoring the gospel. Through the prophet Joseph Smith, our Father in heaven and his son, Jesus Christ, restored the fullness of the gospel. The true church of Jesus Christ is on the earth again. Because of the restoration, the teachings and ordinances necessary for the salvation are available to all people. Let's go over it. First off, what are the different kinds of priesthood? Priesthood is the power and authority of God. God is legitimately giving us access to his power. Yep. Priesthood power. God's power attained through righteousness. God notices our efforts to stay righteous and grants us power through doing so. So, yep. Priesthood authority. Authority that God gives to man to act in all things necessary for the salvation of God's children. This church has everything to do with serving others and bringing others to Christ. God helps us out by giving us authority to his power to save his children. Priesthood offices. Divisions of priesthood authority to perform authorized ordinances to administer the church. Priesthood ordinances. Priesthood authority is required to perform the ordinances of the gospel. An ordinance is a sacred physical act with symbolic meaning, which opens up the door to rich spiritual blessings. So, yep. Priesthood keys. Priesthood keys are the authority God has given to priesthood leaders to direct, control, and govern the use of his priesthood on earth. Again, God is allowing us to help children through the priesthood leaders who attain keys. So, what are the Aaronic and Melchizedek priesthood? Well, the Aaronic priesthood is a result of the failure of the Israelites to observe the gospel law administered by Moses under the authority of the Melchizedek priesthood. The Lord gave an additional law of performances and ordinances and confirmed a priesthood also upon Aaron and his seed throughout all their generations to administer it. This priesthood was of lesser power and authority than the priesthood of the Melchizedek and was used to administer the outward ordinances, particularly as characterized by the ceremonies of the Law of Moses. There are three keys of, his, of this priesthood. One, the ministering of angels. Two, the gospel of repentance. And three, baptism by immersion. There are also three offices to the Aaronic priesthood, deacon, teacher, and priest. Now what is the Melchizedek priesthood? The Melchizedek priesthood, which is after the order of the Son of God, through the authority of the Melchizedek priesthood, church leaders guide the church and direct the preaching of the gospel throughout the world. In the ordinances of the Melchizedek priesthood, the power of godliness is manifest. This greater priesthood was given to Adam before the apostasy. The offices of the Melchizedek Priesthood are Apostle, Seventy, Patriarch, High Priest, and Elder. Now how is this all restored? How did God bring this much knowledge and power back to the earth when it was gone for so long? There are a couple of key events that allowed the priesthood to be restored. The priesthood wasn't restored on one singular day. It was a gradual process developed through these multiple events. After Joseph Smith had the first vision and received the golden plates on May 15th of 1829, having read about baptism for the remission of sins as they worked on the translation of the gold plates, 
Joseph Smith and his scribe Oliver Cowdery went to a secluded area to inquire of the Lord concerning the matter. There, on the banks of the Susquehanna River, near Harmony, Pennsylvania, they received the answer to their prayer. John the Baptist, a resurrected being, came to them as a messenger from heaven in a cloud of light. He conferred upon them the Aaronic priesthood. Then, in the obedience of his instructions, Joseph and Oliver baptized each other and ordained each other to the Aaronic priesthood. I'll tell you, Joseph and Oliver are always a win. In May of 1829, the ancient apostle Peter, James, and John conferred the Melchizedek priesthood upon Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery. Joseph wrote, The voice of Peter, James, and John in the wilderness between Harmony, Susquehanna County, and Colesville, Broome County, on the Susquehanna River, declaring themselves as possessing the keys of the kingdom. This gave Peter, James, and John credibility to Joseph and Oliver Cowdery. In June of 1829, Joseph was guided by the gift and power of God in accordance to the Doctrine and Covenants 135, verse 3. The prophet Joseph Smith completed the translation of the Book of Mormon through not only God's revelation, but through God's power and authority of God's priesthood. In June of 1831, at the conference located at the Morley Farms in Ohio, Joseph wrote, the authority of the Melchizedek priesthood was manifested and conferred for the first time. Upon several of the elders, this is a new office, a new power. This new high priesthood order was different than an elder and was after the order of the Son of God. It was to be a high priest like the Melchizedek. It included the power to seal people up to heaven and part of the veil. In April 1836, the Savior appeared to Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery in the Kirkland Temple. Moses, Elias, and Elijah also appeared and gave priesthood keys to Joseph and Oliver. Elijah brought the keys of sealing power, which make it possible for families to be sealed together forever. As we can see here, it's not just one singular event that restored the priesthood and the priesthood keys, but from 1829 to 1836, was a gradual process to restoring the priesthood. God has told us numerous times that we learn line upon line and precept upon precept. God knows how we will learn and has a plan for it all to work out. If it was just shoved at Joseph all at once, I doubt he would have organized it correctly. Instead, God was there the whole way through to bring the fullness of the gospel back. God is always a win. The way that he was able to use Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery to really bring to pass the priesthood as it is today. They really deserve a lot more wins for bringing this incredible power back to the earth for us to use it today. What I love most about the priesthood and being restored onto the earth is its easily ready use for us to serve others and to bring others unto Christ. To really show its power it even allows us to help people beyond the grave. It is truly amazing the plan that God has for us and the way that he was able to restore the priesthood to the earth. I love you 3,000.